I'm Alex Roggio for Mopar Max Magazine, and today I'm here with Jake Coughlin Jr. at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. So the last time Mopar Max talked to you was at SEMA in 2011, and that was right when you just announced you were coming back to Pro Stock. What has the journey been like from then to now? It's been fantastic, uh, quite honestly. Uh, you know, putting the program together, you know, with Mopar and and Jegs, and assembling a team to come out and compete at the highest level in NHRA Pro Stock uh, was quite a journey. I, I will admit, but uh, you know, it was so rewarding. You know, reuniting with the fans and uh, you know, seeing them support us and cheer us on week in and week out. You know, 2012 wasn't one of our banner years. In fact. In the history uh, of Pro Stock, for myself, it was probably my least uh, favorite year as far as performance goes. But uh, we made some changes over the off season coming into 2013. Uh, we joined forces with Alan Johnson and Roy Johnson, and uh, and that really looks like uh, it's going to be a, a spectacular program. You know, when we started first started talking, it was you know how can we form one team with two cars, and uh, and that's what we've been very successful flat thus far. How do you deal with both the demands of having a pro racing career and running a successful family business, Jegs.com? Well, it's, it's really, uh, both programs are all about people and uh, we've been very fortunate to surround ourselves with some great people both here at the racetrack and back home at uh, Jegs Mail Order. So I think that's how you do it. Uh, I, you know, my fingers on the pulse. Uh, pretty much seven days a week uh, as as it is with a lot of folks at Jegs. But uh, you know we're all passionate about what we do and fortunately for me you know my passion doesn't just carry into the business you know it uh, floods over here into the drag racing world and and I've been fortunate with my brothers to grow up in, in this environment uh, both on the business side and uh, what started as a hobby side let me let me uh, say that and uh, obviously uh, you know the NHRA racing has turned into such a professional business as well uh, over the last 10 or 15 years for us and uh, and that's just been phenomenal as well. Is it different being with Mopar this time around than before? You know uh, you know coupling with Mopar and Don Schumacher racing in 2005 was uh, was great uh, you know, it was my first experience kind of stepping out of our family-owned racing teams, and that was probably the biggest difference for me at that time. But what I was warmed with were literally the hundreds of thousands of Mopar fans that uh, are unbelievable. They they share the same passion that uh, myself and my family has for Jegs and for the auto racing, the auto racing community as a whole, and uh, I think that was wonderful. I think. Coming back here in 2012 was a little different uh, program because we had started our own team again. Everything was in-house, and uh, and that that felt uh, more at home for me. Uh, we had a great run with Don in 2005, and uh, but we elected when we came back in 12 that we were going to have our own our own program 100%. And then uh, as as we've uh, as history's said here, we've modified that a little bit for 13. As everyone knows, you're a five-time world champion. Am I going to be interviewing you for the next 20 years? In other words, are you going to be Pro Stock's version of John Force? <laughs> you know, uh, I have been very fortunate, uh, you know, to win four Pro Stock championships along with uh, a championship in Supergas uh, years ago. And you know, 20 years from now, you know, I'd love for you to be interviewing me. Uh, you know, I don't know that it would be in Pro Stock. You know, this is. Uh, I'm not going to say it's a young man's game by any stretch being uh, 42. I've certainly got uh, some prime years left in me, but uh, I'll, I'll never leave the sport, I would say. And competing for uh, race wins and championships really is what drives drives me, uh, you know, really day in and day out with with the drag racing world. So uh, there's a good chance of it. I, I like uh, I like the way that sounded, and, you know, it's got my wheels turning. I'll, uh, good Lord will, let's throw that in. Thank you so much for your time, Jake. Hey, it's my pleasure. Thanks. Thanks for having me. Sure.